This scientist can tell if you have cancer just by smelling your breath. Hi, Naz Daily. My name is Hossam Hayek. Professor Hossam is a Palestinian Israeli, just like me. When his best friend got cancer, Professor Hossam decided to spend his life fighting cancer. The problem with cancer is that it grows inside your body, and when you know about it, it's too late. But turns out, cancer has a smell, and dogs can smell cancer just from your breath or urine. So he built a device that works like a dog's nose. It's called Nanos. It can study your breath, look for tiny cancer molecules, and if they exist, it will signal an alert that there is cancer inside of you. His device is still a work in progress, but if it works, we can build a world that is entirely cancer free. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. I found a woman who will never die. I'm Linda and I would really like to live forever. Linda is so afraid of death that she hired a real scientist with real PhDs to find a way to freeze herself. The minute she dies, they want to freeze her body and let it sit there for centuries until science can unfreeze her and make her live again. It sounds crazy, but it's not just her. Even famous people also asked Linda to freeze their bodies for $200,000 per person. Nobody knows if Linda will succeed, but according to her, if we can transfer our hearts to other people in 2021, then maybe we can unfreeze people and treat them in 2201. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. This guy takes 4 million pictures of Earth every single day. Hi, my name's Will. We've launched 200 satellites that image the entire Earth every day. While working for NASA, Will realized that we have very few pictures of Earth from space because satellites are too expensive. So he did something crazy. He and his friends invented a satellite that is 1,000 times cheaper and much smaller, the size of a loaf of bread. They sent it to space to take millions of pictures of Earth every day. Through these pictures, they discovered something shocking. We have wiped out about 68% of the life on the planet. The seas are drying, the corals are dying, the forests are dying. Just look at the change from just a few years. These pictures are proof that climate change is no longer an opinion. It is something we can see and something we can fix. All thanks to Will and his team. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Let me introduce you to a fish that is not made from fish. Hi, Nas Daily. My name is Ofik. Ofik realized that we're running out of fish in the ocean, so he decided to do something about it. He found the three smartest people in Israel, and together they built a machine that can print food. It copies the fish molecules using plant molecules, and they made the printer and the molecules work perfectly together to create the world's first cooked salmon fillet made entirely out of plants. It has zero cholesterol and lots of omega, but it doesn't have any mercury or microplastic or antibiotics. And this is just the first version. In the future, we'll be able to eat a fish that is 10 times more delicious than a normal fish without touching the ocean. And that is exciting. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. In the US, I found two people who made a microscope for only one dollar. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Manu. Manu and Jim saw that poor countries have a lot of tiny monsters hidden in their water which can make people sick. And most of these monsters can only be seen by a microscope that costs two thousand dollars. So they made a microscope which is one thousand times cheaper because it's made of paper. You take this paper, fold it like an origami, assemble it, and just like that, you have a microscope that allows you to see objects 140 to 1,000 times bigger than they actually are. It's so durable that it can survive physical and water damage. With this price, they're able to make 500,000 microscopes and send them all around the world. This piece of paper deserves all the attention. 
because it can help thousands of doctors inspire millions of kids and even save lives. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.